y'all, before we start this video, I don't care if this video is cringy, but I want to give three shout outs and they are Camden Toms, Brooks Weberg, and what was the other one? Hmm. I guess we only have two. And because they are extremely awesome. They're, oh yeah. Um, shout out to Mavin M or or yeah something like that he does Pokemon cards if I pronounced your YouTube channel wrong please forgive me I know it's a bomb though. or I know I did it wrong and I should respect his name like but uh Camden Thomas requested or he didn't request it but he asked how to do how do you hack Pokemon Go that's what I'm about to do I'm going to show him, and if you have a Apple device or Android, then you're in luck, except Android, because it can't hack Pokemon Go. I've already tried it on my Android phone, which I'm using right now to record. It does not work. So, if you have an iPhone 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or X, which is a 10, or iOS, then you can hack Pokemon Go. And I think you can hack with an iPod as well. But, um, I had it at first, but I deleted it just to show you guys. So, first you want to go on Safari. And, uh, go to Google. I mean, you don't have to, but that's what I do. Because, uh, Safari's not working, so I'm just going to use the Google. And, uh, type in tutuapp.vip. And then you click the first icon. Then it should take you to this page. And get the regular one, please. Oh, yeah, I think iOS is all the, you know, iPhones. But the VIP costs money, and we don't want that, dude. We just want the regular version. So we're going to go ahead and click download now. Hold on, it's frozen for a second. Here, I'll come back. Mm. Okay, yes. Hold on. Okay, so you want to click download now, just like I said earlier. Okay, it's going to take a while for it. Let's, okay, it's about to go to Facebook.com. We don't want to do that. So, hold on, just let, just let it wait for a second. Okay, so it's going to load now. So once you click download now, wait for a button to say install or something. It's going to take, okay, yeah, see, it's going to pop up like that. Click install. And then you click to immediate. And I don't care if I pronounced it wrong. Who cares? And then you got to press trust. So that way you, when you open the app. It'll let you log in. So now you just wait for it to install. Okay, so I have it downloaded. And, okay, something fell. But who cares? Alright, so you want to go to Tutu app. And if it won't let you, go to settings. And, uh, hold on. And you go to, uh, general. And then... You go to device management and go to this icon and then you gotta hit trust right there. I already did when I click hit to immediate. And then go on YouTube or not YouTube, Tutu app. And it's gonna take you here and it's gonna pop up a few ads. Now it's gonna ask you to install Nestle. Don't do that because it is a virus. So you just wanna hit cancel. Go to Pokemon Go right here, and it should say Pokemon Go Hack, and then Onion Square. So you want to get for get it for free. Let it load for a second, and it's gonna take a little bit. So it's almost done, I think. Don't worry, I'm not gonna pause the video because it is a short loading screen. So. Alright, we need to hurry. Alright, so it's going to ask you to install it, so you're going to go ahead and click install. 
Okay, it's gonna ask me again, but if it asks you again, then just ignore it by hitting cancel or just tap your phone screen. Right, we're just gonna let it install. Right, let's see. Hurry. My phone's on the charger, that's why I'm doing this. But I'm gonna take it off real quick. What the heck? Alright. Alright, so just like regular Pokemon Go. Um, let me turn it down a little bit. You're gonna log in like you would usually do. Alright. Oh yeah. Okay. So I just put run and if you want to use the rocker that's fine, but I use wheel. So it'd be easier. And you just go ahead and enter your account. Alright, so I'm now logging in my account. As you can see, right, click OK. And you may be soft banned for two hours, it's a bummer. But as you can see, so you should spawn right here a bunch of Poke Stops and a and at least like two or three gems near you. And yeah, you, yeah, I got like a lot of shiny Bulbasaurs lately on that one video, but I didn't show you all the shinies I got because the rest of them I lost footage of. As you can see, we got one, two, three, four shiny Bulbasaurs. I'm waiting for 125 candies because I'm going to make a video of a evolving movie or a evolving Pokemon video. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, you could see, and there is my shiny Dratini, okay, it should spawn, come on, you idiot, here it is, all right, shiny Dratini, all right, it's having trouble, see, there we go, shiny Dratini, super rare, Dragonair, and then we have a shiny Dragonite. And soft band is where you cannot catch a Pokemon or spin a Pokestop or fight gyms for two hours. As you can see, I'm probably soft band. Let me check real quick. Okay, it's not going to load, so I'm just going to have to. Exit Pokemon Go, exit, and then enter back in. Alright, so I'm back in, so let's check. Wait, Wild Geodude. 681 CP. Alright, let me try and see if I am soft banned. So, let's see. Okay, no, I'm not soft banned. How you can tell if you're soft banned is if a Pokemon escapes... Your Pokeball runs away every time you try to catch one. And yeah, you don't you actually don't have to walk. You can make your character go everywhere you want and it just glitched out. But uh yeah. And I there you can download Poke Snipers. It's on the app store, but it doesn't work for me because it's not updated. But I don't feel like showing you how. Because, you know. It's just kind of boring. Anyway. Yes, as you can see, you can make your character move around. I did not click that gym. So laggy. Right, yeah, see. Yeah, you can. And you press these buttons. And that's basically how you do it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And bye. Peace out.